Hello. Today I'd like to um, show you a nice uh, JavaFX uh, demo application that um, combines uh, the JF Extras window control uh, with uh, the new uh, JavaFX uh, 3D API that has been published as preview uh, version. And um, maybe I just explain the application a bit. Um, uh, first of all, as you may notice, I'm, I'm doing this demo uh, on Windows today. This is kind of special for me because I don't do very uh, much of uh, window development, but uh, I had to do so because currently uh, this application only works on Windows. I, I hope this will change soon, but I still wanted to try the uh, 3D API and, and so uh, I, I booted my, my Windows environment to to uh, try that out. So if you are running a Linux or Mac then you can not run this application right now. Um, so you just have to wait or do it like me, just install Windows somewhere and, and try it out. Um, okay, um, what we do here first is um, we uh, create a scalable content pane and for those of you who don't know what a scalable content pane is, it's basically a container where you could can add um, a content um, and if the content doesn't fit into the, the bounding box of the scalable content pane then uh, a, a transformation will be applied so that the content will visually fit into to these, uh, these uh, bounding uh, box. Um, uh, so this is an alternative to a, uh, a scroll bar where you can also put uh, content inside this, that is larger than, than the, um, the container uh, bounding box. Um, but in this case we just scale the content down and you will see all the content at once. Um, and what we do then is um, we create uh, um, nine windows with uh, 3D content. But uh, here uh, we make a difference between uh, the windows. Uh, sometimes we will use uh, the subscene um, uh, API, uh, which means on every second window, and on the others uh, we don't. And what this means is um, JavaFX has introduced a subscene node, um, which is basically a completely independent scene graph on its own. It gets its own camera and you can add it as node. This is really nice. So you have an independent scene graph and you add it to a, to a window for example and if you drag the window around um, it, it will use the camera applied to the subscene and will not change your perspective. But you could also just add the 3D nodes uh, as, as normal nodes because they share the 2D API of, of, of JavaFX nodes, which is nice because you can use uh, layout managers and so on to, to, to lay out your uh, 3D nodes and you can use them um, just uh, yeah, as all, uh, like like the controls for example you could use it, them as buttons or, or whatever you like uh, it's really nice um, and after that we just do the the usual uh, scene and, and stage setup to to get the application started um, so before we look into the uh, uh, create window uh, method here um, I will start the application And uh, this is it. You have nine windows. Um, and uh, what you see here is a window that has some 3D content. I can drag it around. And what you can see is that the perspective does not change. It's always the same perspective. And this is different from this window for example. This shows a different perspective and if I drag it then you will see that the perspective has changed. We can compare it. We take such a window and drag it to the left and here you see we have another perspective 
and this window here. This is really nice, so you have um, the possibility to add 3D content to your main scene or you could say I want to have a more classic approach um, you would normally expect uh, a 3D content inside of a window to not change the perspective when you drag the window around this is what you have in, in normal applications but here you have the choice actually what's nice about subscenes they really behave like like 2D nodes in all respects so also scaling works out of the box and also if I rotate it will just rotate here too it's probably because it has its own buffer I, I, I guess so it will be really used like a, a, a an image view or something um, at least for for the rendering part um, I don't know um, uh, but here it is a bit more difficult it seems because uh, the transformations are not correctly applied um, but what works here is um, the scaling so I have fixed the scalable content pane to make use of the third axis and um, there there was some some workaround I had to introduce because um, uh, 2D content should not be uh, scaled on, on the third axis because then it will vanish um, but uh, 3D content um, has to be scaled on all axes because uh, otherwise uh, scaling would be not proportional uh, and the non-proportional uh, scaling leads to, to, to strange uh, um, looking uh, 3D objects uh, so I made some some changes to the scalable content pane so if you have a group for example that has a non-zero third axis then this axis will be recognized and scaled properly and if you don't have then it will be treated as uh, any other uh, 2D content yeah so that's basically it um, I think it's a really nice API here um, there are some drawing bugs but they will be removed um, and this is just a, a preview build so uh, quality will be improved but I'm impressed anyway um, it's really a nice API I like how they integrate uh, 3D content as uh, normal uh, nodes in, in the scene graph and I can understand that they somehow uh, concentrated on 2D API because this is really important for, for, cl for classical user interfaces but you have the possibility to really easily integrate 3D content and you could add um, 3D charting libraries and this is something that would be really nice to have uh, 3D uh, visualization options uh, also for uh, for a scientific visualization for example this is a really powerful tool because um, what you normally do you have so many different frameworks and you do OpenGL programming sometimes people even do uh, it manually and, and even though they are not concentrating on OpenGL as their main work uh, they still do it and, and I'm more more interested in, in getting things done uh, quickly and this API really gives me all the tools I need to to, to get uh, these things uh, integrated in, into one nice API and and for my work with uh, VRL Studio for example all these uh, visual components they sometimes are from different libraries like we have uh, integrated uh, Java 3D and and there was some some there were some strange problems with integrating it into the Swing API because there you have these issues with uh, different um, painting uh, algorithms so sometimes you, you you cannot integrate a AWT components nicely into swing because there is heavy white and lightweight components and all, all these really uh, boring uh, things actually um, I was only interested in displaying 3d content and not in uh, uh, hacking on on the the, the um, uh, repaint manager implementation of swing and so on so th this is um, really the way to go and also very nice is that you can add a mouse event handling 
um, on those objects. So here it reads geometry 2 selected, geometry 1 and, and the third one and all that. So this is really nice because you don't have to learn anything special and of course you will be able to, to use array picking and all that for advanced uh, 3D applications but uh, you could also just use the basic parts you know already from the 2D API and, and it will um, yeah just work and, and this is really impressive uh, I really had fun w uh, with playing uh, when, when playing with uh, the, the new API um, the 3D content here uh, is just uh, yeah the, the, the demo code posted on FX experience um, maybe I, I just show you the source code a bit um, uh, so we were here uh, in the start method, maybe we just go to the create 3D window method. So here we uh, uh, create a new window. We we give it some some style and title and so on. And also here we have this scalable content for the window. Um, here is something I had to add. I had to add a clip even though I don't know exactly why because I, in my opinion there was nothing that could interfere because I didn't see anything but actually had to do something with uh, adding a, a lighting to, to the scene graph. Maybe there is a bug or I don't understand everything right. I had to, to create uh, this clipping rectangle. Um, yeah, then you actually create the 3D content and you add it to the window and, and add some, some icons to the window and so on. Uh, you can, can check uh, the source code, it's posted on, on, on my web page. You can download uh, the whole project there. So one look uh, at this uh, method here, we create uh, 3D content as uh, shown on FX Experience. It's, it's a nice demo to to get you started uh, uh, with uh, the API. Um, one special thing here is I, I added a, a, a mouse clicked uh, event handler and as you can see I used the, the JDK8 API for that I use a, a day, nightly build um, uh, of NetBeans, of the upcoming NetBeans version. Um, it works surprisingly well for most uh, things and it gives you a hint to, to convert uh, the classical um, anonymous classes to, to uh, uh, closures, which is really nice if you have just uh, one-liners like this. Yeah, and then um, we, we create a group or we create a, uh, a sub-scene uh, um, and return this. So either we return the, the group or uh, the subscene um, as content of, of the window. And here, uh, yeah, here is, is uh, the lighting. And as I said before, it, it caused some trouble. I don't really understand it. If you know the answer or, or know uh, or uh, yeah, have tried the API and know more uh, than I've shown here, then yeah, post a comment and explain. Uh, um, why this could cause a, a mouse uh, event problem. I don't know. I, I even tried to, to make it uh, uh, mouse transparent and all that, but it didn't work anyway, so um, I I don't really understand the problem here. Um, the subscene part here is, is really nice, I think, because you can set your own camera and all that. Um, I, I'm really excited to have both approaches where you can add notes directly. This is fascinating. Having a sub-scene is fascinating too. I really like it. I encourage you to, to try the application, play around a bit, and post your ideas. Um, you might also uh, follow me on Twitter. Uh, I'll get you uh, uh, notified if I have new and exciting uh, demo applications. And, and it's really fun to work uh, with this API and yeah. Uh, that's it for today. Uh, I will try to, to do more work on, on the 3D 
uh, API. I will try to to uh, explore it uh, more if it's available on on Linux and on Mac because I'm not I, I don't use Windows very much, so I I probably won't do much work uh, now. But uh, I want to wanted to at least uh, explore it a bit, and yeah, I I keep you updated. Goodbye.